Hello, he's out rambling, so you're going to have me here for the Bollington update. So yesterday there was an update from CRT via email. I'm going to pop it up on screen and you can read it yourself, um, otherwise it'll take up too much time of the video, so hit pause if you want to see it. The quick gist is there's stop planks are coming out, some boats are going to go in with some clay, plug up the hole and hopefully it'll hold for the rest of the summer season. So I got myself back up onto site and had a look around. As we approach, you can see the CRT van by the mill, and there are two workboats and a mini digger on site undertaking the work. As you can see on the other bank there, there's a large pile of clay. And here we can see the digger pick up some water from the canal, drop it on the clay and mix it in to make it a little bit more pliable, ready to drop into the hole. He then picks it up and he drops it into the canal. Then you can see that he packs it down with the arm so it's nice and compact. As the CRT update says, it's hoped this repair will last through the summer months. I agree as there's lots of businesses and people who are relying on the summer months to actually earn a living and stay afloat. Excuse the pun. Doing a bit of digging myself on site for you folks, I asked a man who appeared to be a manager who was liaising with the public and workers on site. He had seen that I was filming and I told him that I was really interested in anything interesting on the waterways and was here on the day of the Whirlpool. He said the leak was believed to be going through the sluice as you see here. But he said he wasn't too sure on that as there was water going into the wreck as well so they weren't 100% where it's going. Talking a bit more about the sluice, I mentioned the fact that the team on the 19th said that it was bricked up. Interesting side note on that, the guy on the 19th told me that when they brick up these sluices they quite often leave them in place as the infrastructure is listed. So the guy this morning went on to tell me that the sluice wasn't bricked off, so apologies for the bum steer folks, we can only go off what we're told by the teams on site. Bricked off or not, the guys on site on the 19th said they couldn't spot any dye running off anywhere they looked. Being the curious type, I asked if he was sure that the digger was putting the clay in the right place and that they were confident there wasn't a sinkhole underneath the embankment. Many people I've spoken to think that damming off this section to actually assess the damage would be a more sensible option with the location of this leak on the raised man-made bank. To answer the question, he went on to tell me there were extensive pictures taken from the 2019 drainage of this section when they re-tanked outside the uh, Clarence Mill back there. From these images, they got the location of the sluice pickup where they were dropping the clay. Regarding the possibility of a sinkhole, he mentioned there are many leaks across the whole network and implied these kind of leaks pop up all the time. I pointed out this one's in a particularly densely populated area and he agreed, but he was confident that this temporary fix will get things going until this is added to the winter works list. Finance was also mentioned and it's really not very good for the canals at the moment with the government cutting their funding. He also said that banks of the canals are inspected throughout the year and major issues are rectified. Personally, I'm confident CRT see these issues all the time and have a good gauge of what's needed. As I wandered to the other side of the canal to take some shots from a different angle, another manager was on the bridge. He's a nice decent guy who came up to me and started chatting about the leak. I told him I'd been filming there on the day of the Whirlpool and that there was a video online if he wanted to have a look and then realised I had the footage on my camera. So he asked to look at it. As we watched the footage, he was keen to see if they were dropping clay in the right place, so we played through quite a lot of the shots. He said today's plan was formulated around a photo of the empty canal when Clarence Mill was being retanked. That old picture shows where the pickup of the sluice is. He mentioned that he hadn't actually seen the whirlpool that day, and that there were no measurements taken as to where the whirlpool was in relation to the bank. But I think this was probably because they thought the whole area was going to be drained to find where the hole was. I do hope this fix will hold for the whole holiday season, so the people who rely on this period can make their living. And so all those holiday boaters who want to circumnavigate the Cheshire Ring can do it. And let's hope that in winter, this area gets the tanking it deserves. Thanks for watching. If you're passionate about canals and history like we are, take a look at some of our other videos. You might be interested in them. Your interest and support in the waterways is one way we can make sure it keeps going in the future. So consider a donation to the waterways via the CRT website.